In this video, we're gonna go over the different ways to visualize data in user interfaces. So I originally wrote this as a article. I will add a link in the description below. All of these charts, all 25 of them here, you can get in the comprehensive design system that I'm building. So I will include that link as well. The first chart and the most common chart you see is the line chart. It displays trends over time with data points connected by lines. It's ideal for monitoring time series data, such as tracking revenue, system uptime, or customer retention rates and dashboards. The area chart is similar to a line chart, but the area under the line is filled. It is used to emphasize the magnitude of trends, such as cumulative user growth over time. The bar chart uses rectangular bars to compare different categories or groups. It's helpful for comparing metrics across categories such as department budgets or employee performance. The stacked bar chart shows subcategories within a total to compare categories while showcasing their subcomponents such as regional sales by product category. The diverging bar chart displays positive and negative values originating from a central baseline, often used to show contrasts or differences between categories. Use a diverging bar chart to compare opposing sentiments, values, or metrics across categories such as survey results or financial changes. The column chart is a vertical variation of the bar chart that's best for showing data over time such as sales by month. The pie chart divides data into proportional slices to show parts of a whole. Use it for visualizing proportions such as budget allocation across departments. The donut chart is a variation of the pie chart with a blank center for annotations. It's similar to a pie chart, but allows for central metrics such as a total value. The scatter plot displays individual data points to show relationships or distributions. It is used to identify correlations, such as the relationship between customer lifetime value and acquisition costs. The bubble chart is a scatter plot where point size represents an additional variable. It is used for showing three variables at once, such as profitability, revenue, and market share. A heat map uses color intensity to represent data density or values in a matrix. It is used for comparing data across two dimensions, such as system performance metrics. A histogram displays frequency distributions of data in bins. It is used to visualize distributions such as the frequency of sales transaction values. One thing to note here is a histogram shows the frequency of continuous data with touching bars to indicate continuity, while a bar chart compares discrete categories with gaps between bars. Histograms group data into intervals, whereas bar charts display individual categories. A surplus deficit chart visualizes the net difference between two values over time or across categories highlighting periods or areas of surplus and deficit. It is used to track financial performance, resource utilization, or any scenario where comparing positive and negative balances is critical. A tree map uses nested rectangles to represent hierarchical data. It's used to visualize proportions within hierarchies such as budget allocations within departments. A radar chart plots data on axes radiating from a central point. It's great for comparing multiple variables, such as team performance metrics. The polar area chart is a circular graph with data values represented by the radius of sectors, with each sector having an equal angle. It highlights relative magnitudes of different categories in a radial format. Something to note here is polar area charts are primarily for comparing magnitudes of individual categories, whereas radar charts are better for comparing multivariable performance across multiple dimensions. A gauge chart is a circular dial-like visualization used to represent a single data value relative to a fixed range or goal. It often resembles a speedometer with a needle indicating the current value. A Sankey diagram represents flows and proportions between categories. It's used to visualize resource distribution, such as workflow efficiency or user journeys. A funnel chart represents stages in a process, narrowing to completion. 
It's used for visualizing drop-offs, such as sales pipelines or onboarding flows. The Choropleth map uses color gradients to represent data intensity across geographic regions. It's used for comparing metrics geographically, such as sales performance by state. A box plot displays data distributions with quartiles and outliers. It's used to identify variability and outliers such as delivery times. The bullet chart combines bar charts and qualitative ranges to show progress. It's used to track performance against targets such as sales quotas. The step chart is a variation of the line chart with sharp edges to show changes over time. It's employed to visualize discrete changes such as pricing adjustments over time. And lastly, a candlestick chart is a financial chart displaying open, close, high, and low prices. It's used for analyzing financial data such as a stock price movement. So what other data visualizations should I add to this list? I'd love to hear your thoughts and also check out Forms and Tables, a comprehensive design system I'm building with many components to help you build UI quickly.